24. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Yeah. Okay. Two X twelve IQ. They put a division symbol, but that would be the same thing as division bar in this case. Eight X four Y nine. Okay, any ideas on what we could do on this one? All right. Yeah, because they're both square roots, you can reduce just like you would reduce if they weren't square roots. So, like the 2 and the 8 would reduce to 4. And how about x12, x to the 4th? Right, you subtract the exponents when you divide. You guys remember that? So, basically, four x's would cancel out. That would still leave eight on top. And then on the y's, did I copy that right? Make sure, yep. Okay, three y's would cancel out, but that would leave six on the bottom. So we're, what we got right now, so far, x to the eighth over square root of four y to the Cancel what? The square roots. No, no, the square roots don't cancel out. Uh, so, both of these do have square roots, though. Uh, what times what equals x to the 8th? You guys know? What times itself equals x to the 8th? X to the 8th. X to the 8th times x to the 8th equals x to the 8th? Yeah. X to the 4th. X to the 4th. Now, that's not how I've been telling you to think about it. We've been saying it's 8 divided by 2, right? But yeah, it's x to the 4th. And what times itself equals this? Okay, what, what's the square root of 4? 2. Okay, what times itself equals y to the 6th? Y to the 3rd. Okay. It's also 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or, sorry, yes. 6 divided, I said it backwards. 6 divided by 2 is 3. How did you get the, how did you simplify that to x to the 8th again? Yeah. Remember how to reduce x to the 12th over x to the 4th? You subtract the exponents. Uh, sure. <clears throat> All right, back to the odds. <sighs> Okay, if you have a nice calculator, you can do these automatically, but let's practice. What happened to Brianna? She was in study hall and she was in. Will came off, came over and dropped her stuff off so she can have a rest or something. Whoa, lost my place. Five square to six. All right, what should we try on this one? Do these all add together? Yes. Well, as they are, no, the first and the third terms are like terms. They would add together. What about this term? No. No, but 24 is big enough. Square root of 24 probably simplifies, right? Does it have a double in it? That's kind of question. What goes into 24? Okay, so square root of 24 becomes <coughs> 2 square root of 6. So we got square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 6 plus 5 square root of 6. What's the number in front? What's the coefficient on this first term? 1. 1, yeah. So we got 1 of these minus 2 of these plus 5 of these. So 1 minus 2, negative 1, plus 5. So we have 4 of these. Is that 25 and 2? Yes. 27 cubed roots. Okay, these, the calculator, even the smart ones can't do it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, 
the smart ones would get, well, they would all give, just give me a decimal, which is not what we want. Don't put a decimal down. You will not get credit. But kind of the same idea. We need to simplify. Right now, none of these would add together. But probably these two will simplify. If they have a triple in them, now nothing goes into 7 besides 7, so that doesn't simplify. Uh, 56 is 7 times 8. So 8 is a triple 2. So this is going to become 2, because it's a cube root of KC3, 2 cube root of 7. Hmm, what could go into 80, 189? Any ideas? 3 and 63. Okay, 3 and 63. Could have been like 9, because 9 goes into 18 and 9. 9 and 21. Doesn't matter. Uh, 63 is 9 times 7. So that's got a triple 3 in it. And another leftover 7. So it's 3 cubed root of 7. And then up here we still have cube root of 7. <clears throat> so we have one of these plus two of these minus three of these. What would that be? It would be zero of these. And zero of anything is just zero. It's like zero cubed root of 7 is just zero. Zero times anything is zero. Um, so, on the first term, the square to 32 part will simplify. pictures that happen. They didn't like him for some reason, so uh, it's happening again. I'm just photoshopping my hands. <laughs> just floating heads. Oh, sure. All right, uh, so this one will simplify. You guys know it goes into 32? Okay. Um, <clears throat> So, two twos come out, so two times two comes out, that's a four. And one two is left behind. And then, <coughs> and this eight, uh, double two, a two will come out. Also, on the A's, there's enough to actually divide this. It's three divided by two. So that's one with the remainder of one. So one A comes out. All right. 
One A is left behind. Also, a two comes out and a two is left behind. Okay, what goes into 18? Three and six, nine and two. Okay, so on this one, a three is going to come out. Two's left behind. How about the A's, though? What's five divided by two? Two with remainder of, yeah, two with remainder one. Five divided by two is two with the remainder of one. That means two come out and one is left. I didn't put a ton of these on the test, so it's not gonna kill you, but I did put a couple. So, anyways. Uh, are all of these like turns? No. Almost. Uh, this one actually doesn't count because that a squared kind of screws it up. But these two are like terms. They're both a squared to 2a. We have four of these plus two of these. So that makes six of those. I probably didn't put one this big. And then the a squared thing, that one doesn't mix. So just kind of keep it like that. Did not get that one right. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. These are some of these are hard. Sorry. Square root two plus square root three. Are these hard questions for the other test? Maybe one or two. What's your You can't get over 100. I've never had a student get 100. What if you get like the bonus right now? Uh, it still caps at 100. Oh. My Somehow it works in Bible. <laughs> My Bible. Wait, yeah, you can set up. Well, if you get over 100 on a test, it can help your other test scores, but your test average cannot be over 100. That's how it works in my class. But yeah, I don't think anybody's, well, maybe somebody got a 100 in a semester, maybe, but probably not, probably just a 99. Yeah, it's not as easy as Bible. Okay, so what kind of problem does this look like? Foil. Foil. Um, you could do the whole foil like first, outside, inside, last. But there is kind of a fast forward trick on this one. You guys remember it? First and last. Right, because they are conjugates, which means they're almost the same except for one's a plus and one's a minus, the outside and inside cancel out. You can still do them, but they will cancel out. And you could just do the first and last. So what is the square root of two times the square root of two? Uh, square root. Which is, two. will we ever learn that? I don't know. Okay, and then the outside and the inside are like negative square root of six plus square root of six. So they go, they're gonna go away. The last is square root of three times negative square root of three. Negative three, yeah. So it's just two minus three. Negative one. Yeah. Okay. Thirty one. Uh, 30 is a foil as well, right? And, uh, but it is not conjugate, so you just have to do the whole foil. 31, 6 over 3 plus square root of 2. Okay, uh, we did this one last week. You can't just, you can't leave a square root on the bottom. And multiplying by square root of 2 will not do it because you'd have to distribute. So what you have to do is multiply by the conjugate. 
Mm -hmm. of the denominator, so we're going to multiply by 3 minus square root 2. On the top, we would have to distribute that. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times negative square root 2 doesn't really mix. Doesn't simplify. The bottom is a foil, but because they're conjugates, you really only have to do the first and the last. So the first is 3 times 3, Nine. and the last is square root of 2 times negative square root of 2. So you guys to have a shot. Now we have a class picture. We got class picture. Come on, Mal. Is Nathan there? Can I take a picture with you? Can you take that as a video? Top does not simplify. Nine minus two is seven. Okay, that's it. All right. I'll look at thirty-two. It's fine. Thank you, Mr. Okay, um, so this is kind of like 31. We can't leave, this does not divide. There's nothing we can do here. Uh, but we're not supposed to leave the square roots in the denominator. So we have to multiply by the conjugate. So the top would be this times this, so that would be distribute. What's 3 square root of 3 times square root of 3? Well, what's, what's square root of 3 times square root of 3? We can do that part. No. Well, that's, yes. This part by itself would be 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 times the 3 that's already there. It is 9. Okay, and then on the back part, you could do 3 times 3 is 9, and square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6. So that, that's all you could do there, 9 square root of 6. You were not so tight in that. I see. That was like an intergalactic <laughs> war going on. <laughs> intergalactic war. That's crazy. Okay. I heard Sam fart that, bro. Ellen definitely Owen. What was that mean? That people in that direction. Whoever did that is not slick. I vote we should blame Owen. What? It's always me. Owen walked over to us at small groups last night. And let out the wettest, the loudest storm. Next to White and I. White and me, Dad. All right, so the bottom is a foil, but because they're conjugates, we really only have to do the first and the last. So the first is square root of three times square root of three. Three. And the last is, well, it's negative that times positive that. So negative times positive is negative. 
3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. Uh, the denominator can simplify. 3 minus 18 is negative 15. Okay, there's actually something else we can do on these. Because all of these, all three of these terms are divisible by three, you can kind of reduce. And they would, the book would probably put the negative somewhere else. I don't know where they put it. Maybe they put it in front. Did they? Did you ever look it up in the back? No. Then how do you know where the book would put it? Well, the calculator did. Oh, well. The book and calculator don't always write it the same. The calculator doesn't have spots to put everything, so sometimes I have to put it in word spots. Um, well, the book actually put it on top. Can you change that? Six? That's okay. You don't have to change it, but they just put the negative like up here. Why would you change the nine, not the six? Okay, so this is like this is like one term. So when you divide. The nine by three, it's like you're dividing the whole thing by three. Okay. Yeah, that was a tough one. Tempty. I was close. Yeah, so, so somebody said the calculator wrote it like this. So some of your calculators can do it. A good calculator can. All right, do you guys remember Pythagorean Theorem? Yeah. I was thinking we're going to do a worksheet on that tomorrow. 33 says find the missing length. 12. Stop the video and just let it play. Don't let it play. I was watching the video on Tuesday, and there was just like that time when you guys let the tornado. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you could. I can make two different videos. But that's what I mean. It's easy to skip on YouTube. So.
Freshmen are not down here. Just Emily and Corey. Eli, yeah. Just those three. Fancy meeting you here. It's not bad. Actually, no, four. Because Jarrett, Isaac, Trey, and Leo weren't there. Yeah, they're track. Four track people. of a procrastinator. Doesn't make Just sense. Just not my nemesis. <laughs> I 
stack of papers, the scissors. It just feels wrong, you know? You know guys like that? Thirty-two without me. Hey, 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 is the side across from the right angle. The hypotenuse is always the largest. Sometimes I guess it might be hard to tell. Uh, but it's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. There's the 90, so that's the hypotenuse. So it's 12 squared plus x squared equals 6 squared is 6 squared. Um, you guys know why I use parentheses there? Because it's the whole thing. Because order of operations does exponents before multiply, so it only square that instead of that. So, yeah, if you want to get it right, like on your calculator, you have to use parentheses. Uh, so it's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared on a right triangle. 12 squared is 144. 6 squared is 36. And square root of 6 squared is 6. So this is like 36 times 6, which is 260. Or you could, 
And even like not very smart calculators could do that because um, it comes out nice. It's two six two. <laughs> I'm going to get x squared by itself. <coughs> Is that 72? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what? Square root. Right, to get rid of a square root, you square root. Uh, normally, when we do the square root trick, um, you're supposed to put plus or minus, but negative does not make sense as a side of a triangle. Square root of 72 is going to... Yeah. Okay, so there's a double 2 and a double 3. So it's 6 square root of 2. Yay. Okay, how would we set up 14? I'm not going to do that one, but how would we set it up? 14. Or 34, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> 10 squared plus 6 squared equals x squared. So it's a little bit different because the x is on the right. A little easier, probably, actually. <clears throat> Ten squared plus six squared equals x squared. Uh, okay, thirty-five distance formula. Um, you guys will not have to have this memorized. So I'll just uh, until next year at least. So <coughs> this is the distance formula. You guys, remember doing a couple of those? Yes. After you use it a few times, it's not that. These little twos and ones, I don't always write them in there, but it just means like the first and second x. Okay, so on 35, the first and second x are one and negative three. So it's one minus negative three squared. The order actually doesn't matter because one minus negative three is four, negative three minus one is negative four. But when you square it, it all comes out as 4 squared, 16. Okay, and the y values on number 35 are 7 and 9. So, 7 minus 9 squared is negative 2. Squared is 4. So don't forget, this is all under the square root. And what does square root of 20 simplify to? 5. No. Simplifies to <coughs> 2 square root of 5. And again, if you have a nice calculator, you could just do all that in one go. Notice I put minus negative right there. You could just change that to a plus, but you got to be careful. Some kids just put a minus, which would make it wrong. Because this was a, you're supposed to subtract, but this was a negative 3. So I'd put minus and negative 3. Reset. Uh, midpoint formula. That was another one we did a few. We did a few of these. You average the x values, comma, you average the y values. That is the midpoint. So the x values on 37 are what? What are the x values on 37? <coughs> 1, negative 3. So you could put 1 plus negative 3, or you could just put 1 minus 3. That's the same thing. Over 2, and then what are the y values? Okay, 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2, divided by 2 is negative 1. 7 plus 9 is 16, divided by 2 
eight. So the midpoint is two different numbers because these are coordinates on like the graphing, yeah, graphing coordinates. Uh, the distance formula gives you one number, just the distance between those two points. Wait, how do you find the distance? There. What to do, what to do, what to do. Tell you what, let's, uh, maybe I'll... Could you get that couple please? Let's finish through like 42 today, and then we'll do the uh, graphing part tomorrow. And... Uh, I think I might have you guys do a few Pythagorean, maybe like a tiny worksheet tomorrow to go along with that. Because we don't have that much left. Could you go back up a little bit? All right, 39, the square root of x equals 16. I think this was last Thursday's assignment, maybe. Uh, do you guys remember how we solved this? How do we get rid of a square root? What's the opposite of a square root? Uh, squared. Squaring. So when you square, like, the square root stuff, it just goes away. So it's just... just becomes a normal x. And then the right side you have to do 16 squared, kind of a large number, it's 256. Um, the only thing on this section, you guys remember the weird thing about this assignment from last week? Sometimes when you use that square trick you get an answer that doesn't actually work. Um, so you have to plug it back in. Is the square root of 256 actually 16? Yes. So, like we had one no solution, I think, on the odds and one no solution on the evens. Sometimes this trick gives you answers that do not actually exist. All right. On 41, I do not have the square root by itself. So, how do I get the square root by itself on the side that equals? Square root. No. Subtract eight. Subtract eight. Yeah, we want to get rid of this guy. We want to isolate the square root before you get rid of it. So we got square root of x minus two equals negative three. Hmm? No. You divide by negative two if it was multiplied. But also that negative two is not really a negative two, it's inside the square. If the negative two was right here, that would be something you could divide away, because it's multiplied. But no, because the whole left side is under the square root, you can get rid of the square root by just squaring. Like that. But then you'd have to square the right side as well. So the left side just becomes x minus two, equals 9. Now this is when we problems happen because this side stayed positive, this side went from negative to positive. This is when we get answers that don't actually exist. If I add 2 I get x equals 11. But if I try plugging 11 back in, 11 minus 2 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3 plus 8 is not 5. So it's a non, not really an answer, so this is no solution. Uh, both the evens do have solutions, by the way. All right, we'll, we'll pause there.